Hello, my name is Iron Crow, and I want to welcome you to Iron Crow Productions Co. And also to part three of my Let's Play of Bioshock Infinite's third DLC, Burial at Sea, Episode 2. So in the previous episode, I spent quite a lot of time working my way through this room here. And a couple rooms that are nearby. But I think I've taken out the respawns, the repops. Uh, whatever you want to call them. The splicers that came back after I previously cleared the room. So now I should have free reign to loot this place of all of its goodies. And I certainly hope there are some goodies because I desperately need lockpicks. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Okay. Don't think there are any lockpicks right here, unfortunately. So, Elizabeth is... I mean, she's pretty competent at stealth and stuff like that, but I still gotta wonder, if she's lost all of her powers, how do you explain this? How do you jump like that? I mean, I know it's, I know it's a magnetized... It's supposed to be some magnetized shit on this sky claw. That claw right there. But give me a break. Magnetism can't do that. There's magic involved, man. Wait, what? There shouldn't be anyone here. And there isn't. There is this turret here, though. Nothing here. So I don't actually really have an objective other than locate... Dr. Suchong. As far as where specifically I need to go, the game has not directed me. And it, uh, there was a bit of a hub area previously. But, um... Well, didn't tell me exactly where I need to go, so I'm kind of free roaming here. Elevators to Executive Suite, which are not accessible. So I think I've actually done everything I can here. Time to continue. Just double check. Don't think there's anything around here. No. Okay. Can I break any glasses? Yeah, I can. So it looks like there wasn't, I mean, there wasn't too much of interest there, mainly the the mod for the plasmid that I currently have equipped, which allows me to remain invisible for no eve cost while, while standing still. That should be useful. Just double check. There's nothing around here. Is he right here? Criminal view. Accustomed to such strange noises. Someone heard me jump. Okay, I'm going to take control of them. Hopefully you can help me take out some of these splicers. Well, you didn't actually do too much for me. That's alright. So where do I need to go next? Let's check out the Silverfin restaurant. There may be something over there. Mm, wish I could jump her. But I can't. Oh, what? Come on. 
You should be able to do that. Okay. You should be able to jump people like that and quickly smash them in the head. High and low, we search high and low. I could spend a ton of Eve killer like that by using the big daddy. Not worth it though, I don't think. Okay, so let's see what the range is on this jump. I can jump all the way over here. Don't land in the water. Shoot. Landed in the water. Try it again. Big Daddy's settled down. Okay. Ah, oh, she moved a lot more than I thought. Daddy, he's going upstairs. Very good. Medicine from your pal Atlas. Looks like it's been taken over by splicers. Someone else speaking over here. It's probably upstairs. Okay, I'll, I'll worry about looting after I take care of this splicer. What was that? Oh. Ooh, okay, that's the big daddy. <laughs> Alright, we're good. No threat. Right, let me see what time it is, okay. Okay, getting some more Eve, good. Knocked his ash out. Excellent. KO mod. It causes enemies to be knocked out once the effect wears off. Okay, so... That's a very expensive knockout by using the Possession uh, Plasmid. Probably won't take advantage of that specifically for the knockout too much. Hmm. Looks like someone's been decrypting a code. We've confirmed completion of the ace in the hole. Su Chong has I can't it, move, by the way. Unlikely to give it up easily. We'll update when we know more. What's that all about? All right, so then we got some optional objectives in this game. I love that. Big fan of that. What's up here? Oh. Didn't even notice that door the first time I came through. All right, just make sure I'm getting everything. Coffee plus Eve. It doesn't look like there are... What were they called? The science beaker looking things? Infusion. Looks Doesn't look like there are any infusions in this game. Oh my god. I need to be more careful. I know he turns around pretty much immediately though. Is 
they should be free. Alright. Just want to go check over around here. I didn't get to do so previously. Maintenance, that could be a place to go. Discover the best in luxury. Luxury bathosphere pods. That is so awesome. <laughs> okay. This is a dark and dreary area. Pick up blueprint. Or examine blueprint. Huh. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. It seems like hmm. central heating came from this room, so it would stand to reason that the ductwork should go to suit jobs. Wait a minute. There's a cabinet. Su Chong wasn't exactly a master of subterfuge. No, he was not, but I am a master of exploration, which means that I need to go back and continue exploring this area here. This is a nice hub area. Let's make sure it's safe. Yeah, there's Big Daddy. What the hell is that? Oh, lockpick. So you can see goodies. Well, you can't see weapons, but you can see lockpicks. There's one. Alright, up to five lockpicks. Doing well, doing well. Can't complain. I think I'm going to be spending most of my cash on... The silver fin. On lockpicks. This restaurant when I first came through. Now it belongs to the Su Chong. Looks like I need a code. Looks like I'm not the first one who tried to get in here. Well, at least he left a trail. Oh, I was supposed to find this door before I found that maintenance room. Still, though. <sighs> Exploration. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. And there's something up here, I think. Saw something flash. I see like the heating vents lighting up, which is very interesting. Back up to full crossbow tranquilizer ammo. Fantastic. Service bay. Now would be a good time to. Explore the service. Ouch, that hurt. It's gonna require some lock picks. But I got some. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Eh, it's not too bad. I have a good chance to get a noisemaker. I gotta reiterate, the moving of that pin is entirely random, so you gotta be quick. I guess I get that achievement once I get f five noisemakers, so two more. You know me, all about the achievements. This is TV. I love TVs, man. I use TVs for so many things. If I was making any kind of produced video about Bioshock Infinite's DLC, I might take a... Yeah, I might take some footage of this so I could use it to place on uh, video footage of my own and do some cool stuff with that. Six. Use this. Seems like lots of games these days that have heavy stealth helmets like to give you ways to see with extra sensory perception. 
I guess they figure that's what the players want. Does it make things easier? Hell yes. But, I don't know. It's okay. I don't want to pick up that Eve just yet. Service bay. Just want to check real quick. Is this where I came from? No, it can't be because I... I used lockpicks to get in here in the first place. So I guess this is an optional area, similar to the place where I was at the beginning of this episode and for most of second episode. I mean, most of... Yeah, the most of the second episode. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is episode three. I was... I'm getting a bit confused. I'm sorry. Can I jump into the bathosphere? No. Not possible. Not in this version of Deus Ex. Did I say Deus Ex? <laughs> well, Shock Infinite. I do get a nice Deus Ex type vibe from this. It's, it's not as good, but it's okay. You got options in terms of how you go about doing things. Like I said, not as many options, but the options are there, and you can take advantage of them if you desire. So we're going to have some enemies in this room coming up here. I wonder what I'll find in here. In terms of reward for the risks that I'm taking. Yep, lots of guys here. Mother always says it's important to be yourself. So here I am, one hundred percent a genuine article. <laughs> mm hmm Okay, I wanna get this oh, she's looking though. I'm lucky he didn't see me. <laughs> now there's no way he wouldn't have been able to see that. So the water surrounding Fontaine's department store has been seated with an exhibit on Ah, let's see. I know what you're here for. Any thoughts on escape? How could you just walk away? It's going to be what you make of it. So maybe probably a good idea to try and lure some of these guys. Might just have to shoot them. It's just too many. Got a sweet idea for you. Jesus, look at that. Okay. I jumped right on the edge of that platform and didn't end well for me. Ooh, that that guy's isolated. Fortunately, I can't get them anymore. Hmm. Who is vulnerable to attack? That guy right there. Oh. You can't jump from hook to hook like you could... Bioshock Infinite and also Episode 1. Booker DeWitt could do that, but... I don't know. Okay. That was not safe. I just gotta start shooting people. It's simple as that. I, I'm not gonna be able to isolate anyone long enough to do a melee strike, I don't think. Maybe this guy right here. That's it. We're through. Oh, come on. Why can't I jump right there? All right. Let's, let's go around here. There may be an opening. This is free, so it's okay. Here's my chance. 
direction from those afraid to let them... wonder if anyone will notice that he suddenly stopped jabbering about fallacies and misdirection and shit like that. You know anybody? Okay, that guy over there up top. Or is she coming? Yeah, she's coming back up. I like the challenge of doing melee takedowns. Mm-hmm. I hear what you're saying, sister. I'm not always as confident as I appear. Whoever wrote the dialogue for these splicers is a genius. Most random nonsense possible. So I'm waiting for her to go away. As she is right now. She will go downstairs. Actually, she didn't go downstairs. Interesting. Not yet, at least. Hmm. Okay, there she goes. So now's my chance when this guy turns around. Okay. So she's good right there. Is she coming back yet? Not yet. But I want to be in position to get her when she does. Like I said, I could be shooting these people, but I, I prefer to save my ammo. I prefer the challenge of melee combat. Here she comes. I should have been positioned better than this, but this is okay. Take that. Alright, the rest of this should be easy. There's two more. There are two more guys. Let's just confirm where this guy is. Oh, he's actually turned towards me. That's bad. This guy's beneath me. Might be able to get that drop achievement here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Gotta wait for him to leave the water. Nice. Someone over there. Sky is looking in this direction, I think. Oh no, there's lockers in the way, that's good. What? By the maestro himself. Sander you saw that? And when Sander finds a songbird, you know for sure she's gonna sing sweet. So here's Miss Elizabeth with You Belong to Me. So Elizabeth's gonna sing. Let's hear it. Okay, diary. They've been sneaking into the repair bay at night, riding around on the hydraulic lifts. It's some kind of make-out spot. Can't exactly blame them. God knows how boring it must be to grow up in Rapture. But their hormones are costing us money, and this isn't an amusement park. I've locked the control room. The code is 7951. Thank you, 7951. Ooh, a mob. Peeping Vision Mod. Removes Eve costs for seen through walls while standing still. Uh, what? It was already free for me to see through walls. So I guess... Huh. I don't know. Weird. Oh, 
It was already free to do that. Huh. Gotta admit, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, there's an underground area here. Very nice. Didn't take it... I don't know how you could take advantage of this, but it's good that it's here. Maybe something of interest to find? Nope. Is this an option for you? Mm -hmm. Here's the other exit. Whoa, that caption is so long that it goes off the screen. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's continue. Check this place very well. Okay, I see a bunch of turrets. And then that guy over there who I knew was there already. Double check on what the code was. 9571. Oops. Gotta go page down because this is stupid. 7951. Did you come to Rapture because it seemed fashionable? It's better not open up right to this guy looking at me. No, I'm good. That was lucky that, um, that happened. Whew. All right. I'm good on Eve. I'm good on ammo for the crossbow tranquilizer, which is the only thing I'm using. It's good on health. Got three of five. Don't need any of those, so let's just buy some lockpicks. There we go. Would like to try hacking one of the turrets. I'm glad they seem to have brought back turret hacking, which was a really a disappointment to me in uh, the first episode, because you could not hack turrets at all. You could possess them, but that was about it. Original Bioshock, you could hack. Hold left mouse button to fire microwave energy beam. Yeah, we know. Not actually going to be using that. I don't want to pick up the large bottle. I want to activate this. Doesn't look like it can be, though. So let us continue. Avoid the water for now. Wonder if I'll get the shock jockey plasmid. That was so awesome. Really great plasmid to have when you're on a place underwater that's leaking. Okay, more. <laughs> More Eve. Don't need it just yet. Alright, here we go. Five picks. Let's not screw this up. Okay. Ah, yes! I had to be super quick to get that turret mod. Possess turret mod. Maybe it'll make it free? Adds ability to possess turrets forever. That's probably even better. <laughs> Actually, no. If it was free, that would be better than being able to possess turrets forever, but that might be a bit overpowered. Okay, so... I did see some turrets around here. Yep, there they are. Okay. Here is a vent. 
I mean, this is why I accidentally said deus ex earlier. Because, come on, man, deus ex right here. You're in the turrets. I mean, the... God. Ooh, shoot. What? I shouldn't have been in the line of sight there. Okay, I need to pay more attention. That's... That's clear. I got screwed over there. Audio diary. Of course, the buildings are being fabricated above the waves. But we will lower them on a lunette ring submerged into the structure's steel frames. So much steel, you wonder. How will we keep so large a purchase from the government? Water is buoyant. We shall not frame Rapture in steel, but in aluminium. Aluminium. The government jackals may suspect me of building an air force, but never a city. Oh, so the government didn't know he built Rapture. Interesting. Does seem like it would be a difficult thing to keep secret. It was pretty... I got pretty unlucky to get hit by this. Anything here to loot? Mm, nothing. Ah, oh, another decryption machine. Nice. Another coded message. Attempt to retrieve Ace in the hole from Su Chong unsuccessful. Ryan Private Security killed three of our men in the bargain. We'll need to explore alternate means of obtaining Ace. Alright. No idea what Ace is just yet, but it should be interesting, huh? Five lockpicks. Really need to buy some more. Getting some money. Some money. I mean, it's in limited supply here, but I'm doing all right. I wonder, did I even need to pick this? I did not. Need to conserve my lock picks better by being a sh being certain that I'm not doing redundant lock picking, which I just did. I had the code to get in, which should have saved me lock picks, but I, sc I screwed up. I will get some money out of the vending machine. Because there is some Eve that I can pick up right here. It's a hundred Eve, so let me make sure. I don't know if you can do it twice. Let's see? No. Alright. Just want to make sure I'm not wasting any extra Eve. Because that I think a hundred Eve is a full bar, so. Just want to make sure I got... I took advantage of all opportunities available to me. Okay. So that's about it for this location, I think. Oh, yeah. Right in here. In the bathosphere thingy. Medical kit, good. A radio. Another one. How does a radio do that to you, girl? What is wrong with you? Doesn't happen to me when I look at a radio. Okay. Probably missing important things here, but... I think I got everything. What about that second bathosphere pod right there? Anything in there? Yeah. No! Okay. Anything in here? Audio diary. Lockpick. Ryan's minefield is well laid out. I'll grant him that. Yeah, but what security system made that ain't got a hole or two in it? If I was taking book down at Fort Frolic, I wouldn't like my odds. If I jig left when I should go right, there ain't gonna be enough bits of me left to set a crab's table. 
So, this guy navigated through a minefield to get to Rapture. I guess there is illegal immigration here. Though it's not certain. Somehow I missed that cabinet first time. Things will be missed in this playthrough, I'm certain of it. But I do my best. I hope you can... I hope you can uh, agree with that, that I am taking my time and trying to see everything I can see. Alright, loading screen. Interesting, why is his hand in there like that? Oh, filing cabinet. Just saw that. Oh. Search purse. Okay, that is extremely dark right there. And it's not entirely because of Sweet Effects. By the way, here's what Sweet Effects is doing. Off. On. Off. On. It's kind of a subtle effect here in Rapture because it's so dark. But in part one, you see, you saw how strong it was. It's, it's, uh, pretty intense. Here's where a turret would come up if I failed to pick the lock. So if you can intentionally fail to pick locks, and then possess turrets forever, and lure enemies into the turret. Interesting. May have to make use of that. And might as well do this. Let's buy a couple more lockpicks. It's actually extremely profitable to possess these. So I need to do this to every single one. Okay. Should be safe to move now. I've been to the Manta Ray Lounge. I don't think I've been to this location on the bottom right here, though. Food, yeah, I haven't been here. Got two guys in there, and I saw a mod. Very good. I want that mod. There's two guys right here. Don't know if they will break apart. Yes, they will. Good. We seek out the fight perpetually. There may be no limits. Oh, this guy's about to move. Okay, he's moving that way, though. Who are we? We are men of tomorrow, men who seek conflicts. saw the... No, he didn't see the dead body. He just... I guess he was so close to me. He got alerted. Alrighty. Minus health plus Eve. I'll take that trade. Or I could have just drank the coffee, I guess. Oh, well. Whereabouts of the foreign bitch scientist unknown? Ryan presumes she's dead, but our guess is she's gone underground with the little sisters. Options on obtaining the ace are dwindling. He's very close. Right above me, in fact. Hypnotize Big Daddy. Coming next year. Oh, of course. Fortunately, that plasmid is not yet available. God dang it. Alright, five lockpicks. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Boom, boom. Boom! Yes! 
Old Man Winter. Oh, come on. I can't even pick it up. Alright, I'll have to come back. But, that's cool because that means there's backtracking. And we love backtracking in our Bioshock games. We don't like that linear shit. Talking to you, Bioshock Infinite. Okay, just confirm where the big daddy is. Alright, test drive. I think that's where I came from. Or maybe I came from here. In any case, let's get some money. Excellent. Probably should buy some more lockpicks as well. Because I just used a bunch already. Alright, Big Daddy coming. Yeah, that is where I came from, and that is where I've been. Uh, oh, I can just get up here. So I will be getting Old Man Winter at some point. That's cool. Let's go into the restaurant, finally. Actually, you know what? I might need to end this part. Let's see. Um, It's 2 o'clock, so yeah. I'll just go in here. End it after I do this part. That's okay. Oh! God dang it. That was bad. Almost bad. Shoot. I don't know how I missed it point blank range. Probably shouldn't have wasted that much. Should have just snuck past. That was a lot of Eve wasted, but it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. So I'm the device from behind with a lockpick. Hmm, I want that. It says a lockpick. It takes two. I can sneak in there, I think. I'm quick. There we go. Don't need to waste lockpicks or Eve, I don't think. No reason to. Hello. I think we found our man. No sign of him now. Either he's dead or working for Ryan. Su Chong. Father of the Plasmid. Locked. And nothing to pick. But I come here for a reason, right? It, isn't that why you told me to find Sutron? Well, technically, you told yourself. Thanks, I appreciate the reminder. Of what? My tenuous mental state. People ain't designed to see what you've seen. And now that you're just plain old flesh and blood, I'll be grateful you've got things this well held together. There must be something here I need to find. Something Su Chong was working on. Okay. On that note, we will discover what Su Chong was working on in the very next part. That looks like... Colombian building right there. That looks like Elizabeth. That looks like Booker DeWitt. That looks like the tower that Elizabeth was locked in for the first 20 years of her life. That looks like Comstock. Statue of Comstock, one of the many that were present in Columbia. Alrighty then, thanks for watching part 3 of my Let's Play in 2560 by 1440 of Bioshock Infinite's third DLC. Columbia? He knew about Columbia. And, and Booker, and, and me. The Suchong must have found a way to reopen the tear I made to come here. But how? 
plasmid called Tear. Remember when you tried to trick Booker DeWitt with that bullshit? Yeah, I remember. All right, so we'll continue unraveling this mystery. Part four of my playthrough. Goodbye.